It's a staple of the Midwest. When traveling through rural America, it's likely the view out your car window. Corn is America's top crop, accounting for over a third of global production. And with the fall months now in order, it's time we see those big red and green machines doing what they were made to do. But there is more to the corn they're harvesting than meets the year. With harvest currently underway, crops like corn are currently being picked and sent to grain elevators all across America. Now it's pieces of corn like I have here, field corn or dent corn that are most commonly found in the Midwest. Corn that is so widely produced yet isn't served at the dinner table. You might be surprised to learn that Florida of all states is the single largest producer of the corn that we do eat. It has to do with growing season. Uh, the earlier you can come to market with the vegetable, typically the higher premium you have. Which state do you think produces the most sweet corn or corn that we actually consume off the cob? Um, I'd probably say Illinois or Iowa, but I don't really know. Definitely would say Iowa or Illinois. I would say that I would think it would be Nebraska. Now what would you do if I said Florida? Oh. You're kidding me. It's not what I picture about Florida at all. So then what's to happen with Midwest field corn? Roughly 40% of dent corn is used for livestock feed. Um, and then roughly another 40% of it is used for ethanol production, which we put in our cars as gasohol. Much smaller amounts of field corn are used for seed and human food, as only 1% of America's corn production is sweet corn. The products you pick up off the shelf just might contain what farmers live for. In Macomb reporting for News 3, I'm Dylan Smith.